the Parkside Development Site, which is uh, approximately an acre parcel of land that is uh, on the north side of Queensky Boulevard, quite right next to Sherburne Park, will result in our first private sector development in East Bayfront. It represents a $200 million private sector investment in waterfront renewal. It will become an unparalleled mixed-use development comprised of 540,000 square feet of residential, retail, cultural, and office employment opportunities. With this announcement, we're entering into yet another exciting new phase in the development of East Bayfront. This first private sector development is about much more than a building. It's really about the beginning of a sustainable and livable community for the future residents of East Bayfront. The great golf group of companies was selected as Waterfront Toronto's development partner for Parkside. The Great Golf Group of Companies is proud to have been selected by Waterfront Toronto as the developer of the Parkside site, and we look forward to playing a key role in the renewal of our city's waterfront and the revitalization of the East Bayfront. We have made design excellence a, a top priority in everything that we do. Uh, everything we're building on the waterfront, from the buildings to the streets to the public art, will set new standards for architecture and public space design in the city. We are very confident that this team will deliver something quite spectacular. So with that, I would like to introduce uh, Mr. Safi to come up and say a few words about the project. I'm very excited uh, being here today. Uh, coming into uh, an area which is the future of the city, the next big surge of development, and coming under the auspices of a very well-developed urban design scheme generated by the public sector. And so it's been very exciting to study the plan, to understand it, uh, the big moves in it, and then try and relate to it in the scheme that which we evolved. Uh, I think we bring to that many themes that I've been obsessed with over the years. Gardens in the sky, uh, gardens for various apartments, communal space, and also to enrich the uh, uh, public domain and the public spaces that are being created here and in that respect, we were very excited that the program was for mixed-use building, not purely a residential building, but a building that will have employment, that has retail to, to relate to the park, uh, has a daycare center, as well as residential. The general concept is to uh, uh, modulate the facade of the building into a series of uh, uh, terraced gardens which descend towards the south, towards the sun, uh, and uh, uh, very generously glazed areas uh, which are recessed and so that the large glass areas which afford uh, open views etc are naturally shaded by the massing of the building the terraces are stepping south as they should uh, the fenestration on the outer perimeter is within a masonry frame so that it's well shaded and that general stepping of gardens yields something like 65 roof gardens uh, which are not open to the sky, but open at least three levels above. We're looking forward to a very exciting collaboration. Uh, we think that uh, there's a wonderful team that's been put together here. Uh, it takes uh, a great client and a good design team to produce a project of quality. I think here we have a triangle between the, uh, the public sector that's generated the project and the private sector and uh, we're delighted to be part of the team. Thank you.